guys, welcome back. Thanks for being here. I am talking about none other than Game of Thrones. I was not going to do it. I was not going to see the spoilers. I was going to steer clear and just be happily surprised on the premiere. But alas, that did not happen. And I heard this crazy information that the final season will be delayed until 2019. <laughs> and at first I thought, oh my god, that cannot be true. That, that can't be right. There's no way. It's a joke. And then I kind of calmed down and I was like, wait a minute. This might be a good thing. And let me tell you why. Well, let's, let's think about this for a second. How many series finales have you watched that you were just totally in love with? And how many series finales have you seen that you absolutely hated? Because I know that I've seen more that I personally couldn't stand. I can think of maybe one or two that I've really liked. Um, so this is kind of where I'm at with this whole 2019 delay. I say... If you need the extra time to get this right, to let me know that my time invested in this series has been worth it, <laughs> then I say go for it. Take the time. Because I, for one, want to see a series finale that is so epically amazing. Just an amazing conclusion to this awesome story. That's what I want, you know? So, because honestly, the last thing I want is to feel like, you know, all this time and energy and effort has been a waste. And nobody wants that. And I don't think that will happen. I hope that doesn't happen. But, you know, previous series finales in life have made me <laughs> lower my expectations. But honestly, with a wonderful show like this, I'm thinking we, we're, we're going to raise the bar a little bit. So I have to say, you know, seriously, like, guys, if you need till 2019, take it. But give me an amazing, epic, mind-blowing conclusion. Let me know that my time and my efforts were not wasted. And I know you can. So like I said, you know, I tried to stay away from them spoilers, but that just didn't happen because um, I heard... Some interesting theories. Um, I heard about this thing called the White Wedding, where Sansa and Littlefinger marry. Ugh. Okay, while I get that strategically, I sincerely hope that does not happen. Because, I mean, it's like, <laughs> what is Sansa? Is she just supposed to be marrying people she's not supposed to be married to? Like, is that just her whole role in this? Because I, I just don't buy it. You know, I used to really hate Sansa in the beginning. And I've just, you know, I've really, like, I've come around. So, you know, I don't want to see her marry that fool unless she's going to, like, you know, kill him on the wedding night before he touches her. Because, you know, I could deal with that. You know, ha <laughs> ha, I got your army. What's up? No, I don't know. I don't know if that would work. Would that work? So, you know, but, yeah, I, seriously, I, I really, I really want Littlefinger to, like, go away. Because, like, I just, I, I really, and I really think that Sansa should be the one to do it. Mm -hmm. I, for one, really hope that nothing comes between the Starks. I know that Sansa's getting, I mean, Littlefinger's getting at Sansa with all his little mind games. But they have been geographically divided and just divided in general for so long I need the Starks to be united in this season, like, all the way through. Like, that's just what I need, you know, because, damn, those kids have been through it, y'all. And so, yeah, I, I need that to happen. Um, amazing trailers, by the way. Go Game of Thrones trailers, people. Very goosebump-inducing. Um... You know, I'm I'm hearing that, you know, with the shorter season, we will get longer episodes, and I hope so. But uh, I think the first episode is like 58 minutes. Um, it's not much longer, but we'll take what we can get. So hopefully, you know, the next ones after that will be longer. Um, I don't care what anybody says. I know there's a lot of hate out there for Daenerys, and I'm just going to go on record as saying, once again, Daenerys is my girl. And y'all may think she's cocky, but no, no, no. That girl has come from nothing practically. She has come through some crazy crap. 
She has been through it. And she didn't survive. She thrived. And you know what? She's allowed to be cocky. So get over it. Sorry, that's just how I feel. She gets so much hate online and I don't care. Like, she is my girl. She is the reason I'm here. And I just want her to take it all. I want her to take the showcase. Wrong show. <laughs> um, I, I, I really hope, though, in, in re <laughs> regards to Daenerys, please don't go mad queen, okay? Just, because seriously, just don't. And besides, Cersei already got you covered on that. Cersei's got that covered, okay? So, <laughs> you know, because Cersei, Cersei's cuckoo. So, um... Oh, another weird thing I heard, the gold wedding between Cersei and um, Greyjoy uncle. What's his name? You're on? I don't know. I don't like him. And you know what? I would be fine with that as long as Daenerys doesn't have to marry him. Because there was some people talking about Daenerys was going to marry that dude. And I was like, oh, God, no, 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 I don't like him. So, like, um, yeah. I'd be fine with Cersei marrying him instead of Daenerys because I could deal with that a lot more than Daenerys because, no. And speaking of Daenerys and marriages, I would, originally, I was like all about the John and Daenerys hooking up thing, but honestly, at this point, I would just rather them unite strategically with their armies um, because honestly, I just don't think Daenerys needs a man. I really don't. I don't see, I don't see her marrying anybody. I don't think she needs anybody. She, independent woman, hello. So, yeah, I mean, I just want to see them be friends and be cool and just, you know, unite their armies, but she don't need a man. Hashtag independent woman, y'all. And speaking of Daenerys again, and her babies are so big. And of course, I'm speaking about the dragons. The dragons, they're so, oh, love them. And they're so big in my heart, and yay. And seriously, guys, we're like a month away now. <laughs> yay. I can't believe this year is almost halfway over, but here we are upon, almost to it, almost to it. So hang in there, thronies, we're getting there. And thanks for being here, and if you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. See you next time. Oh, and um, hashtag all you thronies out there. Um, I will be having reaction videos again for Game of Thrones because they're so much fun. And y'all seem to really enjoy them. So come on back and hit that subscribe button. See you next time, guys.